Bombardier beetles are quite possibly the most important insect in Grounded. The resources they drop are used to craft the advanced production utilities as well as several other important items. In this video, I'll show you every Bombardier beetle spawn location. If you're not subscribed to the channel, now is a great time to do so so you don't miss any future Grounded videos. Let's get started. So before we hop on into the backyard and I show you where the Bombardier beetles spawn, what I want to do is really quickly show you the resources that they drop. So they drop the boiling gland. The boiling gland will allow you to craft the insect hammer, the bombardier head mount, the stuffed bombardier, and the oven. So it's important if you're trying to do some of the stuff from the Shroom Doom update, you're gonna need the boiling glands. Now, when you kill a bombardier beetle, it will. It tip. They typically always drop bombardier parts. I think it's three. It might. It's two or three. Most of the ones I've killed recently dropped three. They don't always drop a boiling gland, so you might have to end up killing a bunch of them in order to end, to get the boiling gland. Then the bombardier part is needed for the insect axe, which is the tier two axe. The Broodmother BLT, which you need to summon in the Broodmother, the all-important Jerky Rack, the Abomination Totem, the Bombardier Head Mount, the Stuffed Bombardier, and the Grinder. So once again, if you want to start building stuff out of mushrooms, you're going to need to kill some Bombardier be Beetles so you can make yourself the Grinder and the Oven. So with that said, let's uh, quickly take a look at the map. I'm on the baseball, as usual, in the center of the backyard. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over and take a look at the five different locations that are currently on the map that uh, produce Bombardier Beetles. So I made my way over to the first location where we can find beetles. This is what we refer to as bombardier rock because the bombardier beetles spawn up on this giant rock. You will typically find them near rocks. So where we are is we're over on the, the, the southwestern part of the map near the haze area. Now this rock used to be completely free of the haze, but the, in the Shroom and Doom update it actually moved the haze over the rock. So if we coyly sneak up here, we should find ourselves a couple of bombardier beetles. So as you can see, there's one there and there's one there. So you'll usually find two of them up on this rock. And there's also a location right down here. It's going to be our second location where we can find them, again, near a rock. So as you can see, there's one down there. And sometimes there's another one on the other side of the rock. So let's sneak over there and see if we can see if there's another one. Usually the bombardier beetles spawn in pairs. So there should be another one over here somewhere. Or at least there was earlier when I came over here. Not sure I don't see him right this second, but there was another one over here. He's probably wandered off a little bit, but anyway, that rock up there is always gonna usually almost always has two of them on it on it. And then down in this area right here, where you can see I put the marker right here, there's usually another two. So there's one over there. I don't know if there's where the other one is. There was another one over here. So there could be one or two here as well. So those are those two. There's four four pretty close together. So let's head on over to the next location. Okay, so we made it to location number three. And this is over by the hedge. It is on the there's uh it's over here by the rocks to the west of the hedge. And this is the only spot that I found that will actually have three bombardier beetles spawning in. So as you can see, there's one there. There's one hiding over there on the other side of this dandelion weed, and then there's a third one over there. So this one's gonna have three three bombardier beetles. The other locations typically only have two. So let's head on over to the next location. All right, we made our way over to the next location. It's going to be Spade Gulch, so that's this little area here. You can see the spade right there, and the gulch is the area that goes down here. And as you can see, here's the bombardier beetle. This guy's wandering around a little bit. Typically, he just sits down in this gulch here where the lawn mites are, and then there's a cave that goes down in there, in, in, under the ground there. And it's called Spade Gulch because there's a spade stuck in the ground there, and there's a quest for that, so you'll end up marking it. So there's this bombardier beetle. He's a solo guy. This is the only location on the map that has only one bombardier beetle. So let's head over to our fifth and final spot. Okay, we've arrived at our final destination. This is over on the eastern side of the map. This is just along, just south of the fence line. So the wooden fence runs along this line right here. And of course, there's a bunch of ore weavers up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on this rock. And as you can see, there's one bombardier beetle there and another there. They typically hang around these rocks. They will actually fight the ore weavers if you cause them to both get aggravated. So if you shoot the ore weaver with a bow and then shoot one of these guys with a bow or hit either one of them, and they're near each other, they'll end up shoot, uh, attacking each other. Uh, when they're not, typically I don't think they actually attack each other otherwise, but if you get them both um, agitated, they will end up attacking each other. So those are the spots to find the bombardier beetles. So just to recap, the five locations on the map where you can find the bombardier beetles, you're going to find two spawns down here in the southwestern zone near the haze area. So this is the haze area, which is this entire area, and then extends out to the rake. This is the rock that has the rake leaning onto it. So you got two up on top of there on top of the rock all the way at the top which are going to end up being in the haze now or right on the edges of the haze and then you're going to have these there's another spawn down here just southeast of that rock where there can be one or two bombardier beetles usually two so there's usually two here and two here down here to the west of the hedge 
There's a, a bunch of rocks over here. There are th usually three bombardier beetles here. So we got two, two, and then three. Then up here by Spade Gulch, which is in the middle of the grassland area, there's usually going to only be one bombardier beetle here. Typically, it's down in the gulch. If not, it'll be wandering back and forth between the gulch and then these rocks that are over here. And then the fifth and final spot is going to be the last place I showed you, which is up here that's in the eastern side of the map, just below the wooden fence. So this line right here is the wooden fence that has all the orb weavers around it. So the orb weavers are up here. There's a, a cluster of rocks down here, and there's typically two bombardier beetles down here. You also want to make sure you have the fresh defense mutation activated when you are fighting bombardier beetles as they will end up shooting their boiling acid at you and if it hits you it'll do a ton of damage to you this will uh, help you fight them if you're getting in close quarters or even if you're doing ranged attacks against them once again you can unlock this just by picking up a mint chunk which you can find either in the mint caps box or you can also find in some of the anthills and then the resources they drop of course are the bombardier part and the boiling land these are super necessary for like end game, for the current endgame stuff, the, the later game stuff that's currently in the game. You're going to need the bombardier parts to make the jerky rack as well as the grinder. And of course, you're going to need the boiling gland to make the oven, which allows you to make the mushroom bricks and the BLT. And you also need the bombardier parts to make the BLT, which is used to summon in the broodmother. So that's going to do it for this video. If you found the video helpful, make sure you smash that like button as it really does help my channel out. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to do so. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.